This is a fun project that I wanted to share. It's tic-tac-toe, but it's not regular tic-tac-toe because we're going to use OpenCV. And OpenCV, that's a library for doing computer vision type stuff. That's basically if you've got an image and you want to make some useful decision based on the information in the image, then that's computer vision. And if you're interested in either computer vision or AI, I think this is a quick uh, kind of intro project to bring together a lot of the basics for both of those. So kind of a fun project. But anyways, I guess I can run that real fast just to show it. It's going to open up the webcam and then here I am. Uh, you can make a move. Now I've got Sharpie here, but I hate using it because it messes up a lot. So yeah, it makes a mess a lot. I've got silver dollars. Those work just as well. So just press P and there it made its move. So I don't want to lose on, on camera here, <laughs> but okay, that's the autofocus acting up too, there's, I can't do anything about that. It does that every time I reach over the board. So there we go, it's tied. And let's reset that actually. Uh, this isn't really a tutorial, but kind of just to show some of what I've done here. So if we go run that again, uh, there's two pretty basic assumptions you can make that make this a lot easier to program. So the first here, you see the tic-tac-toe window. Uh, the game board is the entire window here. So versus, let's move the camera, it's gonna mess things up. Versus having to extract the game board from the frame, uh, something like this, where you want to find the board within the frame. If you just assume that the entire frame is the board, it makes it a lot easier. There's ways to extract it, but it gets more complicated really fast if you want to do it. So that's the first assumption, just assume that the entire frame is the board. And then I've also assumed that the player always goes first, the human. That's just because uh, I didn't put in the logic there to let the computer go first. That's uh, pretty easy to fix. But also the player is always O or circle. I'm looking for circles in the, in the frame there. Uh, I didn't write anything to find a cross finder, which isn't that hard to do. I'd probably look for an intersection between the line, but you see with the grid on there, that might, it makes it a bit more complicated. Uh, so for finding circles, I'm just doing hue circle in OpenCV. It's a technique for finding circles. It's similar to the hue line technique also. So actually hold on while I get this uh, camera fixed back in place. Okay, that's fixed now. So anyways, it was the game board is the whole frame and the human is always the O symbol, never the X symbol. And then the human's also always going first. And if you do that, it's a lot easier because it reduces it just, it's basically a circle finder 
and some AI to go with it, which the AI is just a couple rules. Uh, actually, I can show those, maybe. Let's erase that, don't need that. So the AI, it's only got three rules that it's using. The first rule is just, if it can make a move that will win the game, then it's going to try and make that move. So say it's got two in the column there. If I haven't played this position, then it's going to play that position to win the game. The second rule is if it can't make a move that will win the game, then try to make a move that will block the human from winning. So say the human's got two in the column there, then the AI is going to play to block the human. So, well, that's a mess now. So, if it can't do either of those two, then the third rule is just make a random move. And typically, that's just the first or sometimes the second moves for the AI to make. Uh, it's relying on the human trying to actually win the game for it to move on to those first two rules. But we can actually show that real quick. We play a game here. So there, I just played in the corner and it made a random move, which happened to be right next to me. If I go play up in the top corner here, then it's going to try and block me. So it just played in the center and let's let it win here. So I'm gonna play up in the corner up here. And if I do, then it's going to try and win the game. So it's got, yeah, it's gonna find that uh, bottom corner down there too. Find all three of them first. So it made the move to win the game. It got a row victory. And if we do that again, then having trouble picking this up right now. <laughs> okay, so it just made its random move up on the side there. And where do I want to go? Let's go in the center there. It's going to go and block me. And then I'm going to block it, but now you see it's trapped because there's two that I could win on. So it tried to block me. Uh, it checks the rows and then it checks columns and then it's checking diagonals. So it played on that row victory first versus playing on the diagonal. But then I can play there and that wins the game. So just three rules and it makes for some pretty interesting games. It'll beat a five-year-old. It probably won't beat uh, an adult unless they're tired and not paying attention. Uh, I need to make those extra rules and then that'll make it uh, unbeatable. It'll still be tied, but it won't lose. So, kind of a fun project. Kind of interesting if you're interested in AI or computer vision. It's a nice project. It brings together a lot of concepts from both of those fields. So try it out.